first on breaking news. Channel 2 Action News this morning, starting at 4.30. Next on People to People. Camera rolling. Action. These high schoolers are shooting for the big screen without breaking their budget. Phone is enough. Are they creating a movie-making movement at your fingertips? Then. That's music to an educator's ears. What volunteers are doing to keep it playing. Channel 2's People to People. Community coverage you can count on. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Huddleston. Fred Blankenship has the weekend off. Hello, everyone. I'm Linda Stouffer. Movie making is a seven billion dollar industry in Georgia, employing more than 25,000 people. And there's now a movement underway to put a pathway to cinema success in the hands of local students. Ready, set, action. Kevin McDaniel loves looking through the lens of a camera. I started back when I was in third grade, um, and I just had a little uh, flip uh, video camera. In middle school, he started dreaming of shooting his own movie. Recently, the uh, new, new Avengers came out. I thought, uh, hey, I should finally go through with my vision of a superhero film. Kevin didn't have to look far for an interested cast and crew. I look at Marvel films, and I wonder why. How are those things created? What did they? What's the process like? <laughs> With just an iPhone and some equipment from their school's video production class, Kevin's dream is becoming a reality. Kids need to realize that they can use their cell phones for more than just texting and social media. I'm lining up with Andy. So when Vivian Tirio heard about the Mobile Movie Makers Youth Film Competition, she was immediately interested. When there was actually a contest where they could use their cell phones to create, it was the perfect opportunity to introduce it to them. I'll cut it at the punch. To compete, students simply shoot and edit a five-minute film using smartphone technology. So they're already natural content creators, publishers, writers. They don't even know it. Camera rolling. Zahar Simmons founded the film competition and festival to create an outlet for students' creativity and passion. They're not able to vote at this stage, and they're not able to make adult decisions, but they surely can use the power of their voice to create content and get that out there. I feel like this film will push my uh, limits when it comes to using special effects. Sahar also hopes it will help lead to a greater diversity of voices in the film industry. People don't have role models, and people don't uh, can't look on, into a place and see themselves and envision themselves as something. They feel like, oh, I can't do it because I'm not that. Kevin is not only seeing a future for himself, he can almost touch it. A <laughs> when I was younger, back when all the films were being made in Hollywood, I was like, oh, I gotta go to New York, I gotta go to California to uh, find the schools and find the, uh, the job places, and now it's right in my backyard. I'm trying to stay ho at home because uh, that's the best, right now, that's the best opportunity for that. It makes it real for them that they do see it happening in their backyards. A booming industry with infinite possibilities just within reach. I hope to someday see their name on the screen, in the credits. That was my student. I know it's going to be a hard task, but um, I'm ready to, ready to jump in. There's still time for students to submit their film you have until May 31st to enter your five-minute movie. The winners will be announced at a film festival in October. You'll find the link to contest details at wsbtv.com community. Some happy second.